let's take a look at the Cowboys coaching staff. There was so much turnover this offseason. So let's yeah. start here on the offensive side of the ball, where, of course, Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan return. On the right side of the graphic, you see a lot of new faces in the positional coaching spots. These are a lot of Linehan's lieutenants. Gary Brown came back. There was interest from the Raiders in, in having him go join and be their halfback coach. That ended up not happening. Kellen Moore, who I know a lot of the fans don't like because he's a, a bad actual quarterback, but Brett, we've said this really for months, if not over a year now. Kellen Moore should be a good coach. He's highly intelligent. He knows offenses. I think he's going to be a good, a, a good QB's coach. Well, if it means anything, both Dak Prescott and Cooper Rush endorse the hire. Which I, I believe that they, that they like it. I also think, what else are they going to say? Yeah, I know. So, Sanjay Lal is your new wide receivers coach. We'll see how he fares. That was an outside hire. Same with Paul Alexander. He comes over from the Bengals, was there for two decades. A longtime offensive line coach. And then the most recent one, Duck, Doug Nussmeyer for the tight ends coach. A, a Linehan lieutenant has coached him in the past. Yeah, Nussmeyer comes, uh, comes over after, you know, frankly, some high-profile college jobs. Mm -hmm. Offensive coordinator in Michigan and Florida. Um, but neither one of those situations went all that well for him. Agreed. Now he's a tight ends coach of the Dallas Cowboys. Let's take a look at the defensive side of the ball. Again, the left side of the screen stays the same. Rod Marinelli considered retirement, but he is back for the 2018 season. A few new faces on the right side of your screen. Ben Bloom, Chris Richard, the most notable one, and then Keith O'Quinn at special teams. I really like these hires. I, I, I think it's actually a great defensive group. Now, O'Quinn and Bloom are blue check marks because they're new hires, but they were promoted, but it, we're still going to count anyway, just like we did for Kellen Moore. I am a big fan of Marinelli, especially with his work on the defensive line. And then Chris Richard was a home run hire. He interviewed for head coaching jobs. Seattle said, hey, we're going to blow up the coaching staff for – some reason they got worse at both coordinator spots as far as I'm concerned. With Richard in as the DB's coach, he replaces Matt Eberflus as that number two guy for Marinelli. If things go well for the Cowboys and they make the playoffs and they do well, maybe even win the Super Bowl, and Garrett is retained, I think you can see Marinelli retire next year and Richard becomes your defensive coordinator. So, Tom, speaking of Eberflus, mm -hmm. he was basically offered the defensive coordinator's job for the Dallas Cowboys. Yes instead decided to go join Josh McDaniels' staff yes. at, with the Indianapolis Colts. But, oh, wait, McDaniels', McDaniels rug pulled out from under. Eberflus is still going to join the Colts. Mm -hmm. But, uh, man, that's a bad situation. Man. Yeah, that, that was rough for Eberflus, and I think he was rightfully upset at McDaniels. I mean, McDaniels, just a quick tangent here, he burned a lot of bridges with that move. Oh, you think? He burned a lot he of them. He burned every single bridge there is. Except the Patriots one. Well, he might have a hard a time filling staff at, you know, when he becomes the head point. coach of the Patriots. We'll have to talk to point. Harris Rubenstein, uh, host of the Patriots Report. But overall, here on that, Chat this Sports. is a really good defensive staff for the Cowboys. I think one of the better ones in the NFL. Yeah, I think they put together a good staff this offseason. All right, those were the coaching changes for the Dallas Cowboys now that they are all set for the 2018 season. <laughs>